Howdy friendos, Crazy Jason here and say hello to my brand spanking new $12.39 wide angle lens adapter. That's right, just received it via post this morning and I thought I'd come out here and give it a little, little spin, a little test. Um, it's not really that significant. Um, it's a 37 millimeter. And that's, for those of you who know lenses, that's really not that wide. Um, but it does give some depth. It gives some scope. It, it gives you more of a sense of the environment. And that's what I've been wanting. Because I love watching videos where you get that, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's more immersive that way. Um, and I thought I'd give you a little tour of my uh, neighborhood here, which is very quiet. It's all American. Um, there is my all American house, nicely secluded. In fact, if you go on um, Google Images, you can't see the house, you only see trees, which I like. I don't like to be uh, spied on by uh, satellites orbiting the earth. What I like are trees and um, absolutely love trees. One of my favorite things. Um, right up there with Blu-rays. Uh, and uh, one of the selling points uh, for this house for me uh, are all of the beautiful trees. Some of which are dying unfortunately but um, they've hung in there thick and thin. Get some nice uh, lens flare there a la J.J. Abrams via Michael Mann. I kid. I meant um, Michael Bay. Yeah. Okay, so. Are we getting any sort of fishbowl effect going on here? Hey crazy, why do you look so tired? I'm gonna tell you why, because I am fucking tired. I've been battling insomnia for for a while now. And uh look at that sky. That is a beautiful, beautiful sky. I picked a good day to uh experiment with my new lens. You know, I gotta hand it to you, Kakalaki. You displease me in many ways, but it is a beautiful place to live. In fact, the next movie adventure I shoot is merely 30 minutes from my house, but we're going to be up in the mountains, and it's actually where they shot The Hunger Games, which I just recently saw in the theater. I didn't know they shot it close to where I live, uh, but it gave me a great idea for doing a movie adventure and uh, the review of the film up there whoa whoa too much for the vampire okay so anyway um oh yes yes I wanted ooh, my arm was getting tired I don't know the added weight of this uh, big lens um, I wanted to ask you guys about the Prometheus trailer have you seen it and if you have what do you think? Because when I went to see The Hunger Games, I was privileged to see the full trailer on the big screen. And it blew my mind. You know? Uh, to see the big alien ship from the first movie, the alien movie. To see the uh, space jockey sitting in a seat. Uh, because I'm, I'm pretty spoiler free on this movie. I know very little. I've, I, I read some tidbits on Ain't It Cool News, um, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, that maybe it was gonna be an alien prequel. And uh, I, judging from the trailer, it kind of is. But uh, also judging from the trailer, it appears to me that it's also, you know, its own story. It's not just a, a setup for then the aliens come, you know. it's. Uh, I don't know, I'm very curious. It, uh, while having a different look, you know, it's kind of interesting. Um, Ridley Scott's style has sort of, uh, 
evolved over the years, if you know what I mean. Especially if you, if you watch Alien and then you watch Gladiator, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then watch, you know, movies that are like Prometheus. Um, it has that CG sheen to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm talking about specific shots that contain CG. I'm talking about that sheen of CG that kind of goes over modern movies uh, that are science fiction or fantasy. You know, you get me? Do you feel me? Huh? Much love? Alright. Well, I don't know what else to do with this camera without abusing you guys because you're the audience. Uh, okay, uh, as promised, the top 10 comedies um, that I watch when I'm feeling blue, that is coming very soon, as is a lost movie adventure. And let me go ahead and pre-explain myself on this. Um, this, <laughs> I went out to, I trekked out to Greenville. Um, I had my long, you know, period, and, uh, my long period. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, so I trekked out to Greenville. I was very excited, you know. I hadn't been in Greenville in a very long time, and, um, You like? Hadn't been to Greenville in a very long time. I'm wasting your time right now and my time and the space on my laptop's uh, ever shrinking hard drive. Anyway, get to the point, crazy. Get to the goddamn point. Okay, so I went up there to Greenville, shot the video, and turns out it was mere days before the trade and save program at Best Buy kicked in and the video. Uh, half the video was uh, sur surrounding going to Best Buy, so it was, I thought it was a dud. So I just shelved it, but uh, now I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm going to edit it. I'm currently getting it. Oh my God, I got a bit of a rant here. Windows Movie Maker, folks. Yes, I would love to have a Mac. I would love to plunk down $1,700 and get a MacBook. But, you know, Crazy just doesn't have that kind of dough, because, you know... I've got my priorities. Blu-rays. Hmm? Blu-rays. And, you guessed it, Blu-rays. So, anyway, Windows Movie Maker. God damn. I have to import my footage into the software which came with this camera. Then I have to export that footage to my desktop. And then I have to import that footage into Windows Movie Maker. And when I'm done editing with that all too simplistic editing software, I then have to export that file, that movie, that edited movie, onto the desktop, then upload it. Did I, did I lose you guys somewhere? Because I lost myself. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an extremely heinous process, and uh, I'm quite weary of it. So, um, yeah, Mac is in the future if I can uh, get together the stash. There's also something else in the future, which is uh, the reason why I ordered this wide-angle lens adapter at this particular time. A uh, very large project. Uh, you'll understand in a few weeks. You'll understand. But, um, anyway, I've got a lot of things in the works I'm not going to tell you about right now. Let's just stick with the... Uh, top 10 comedies and uh, what else yeah the lost movie adventure and what do you guys think about Prometheus and what do you guys think about my brand spanking new wide-angle lens adapter I'm crazy Jason and you've been in my wacky emporium baby